Hey guys, it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and in today's video as you could tell by the title we are going to be doing a full face of makeup testing out TikTok makeup hacks. I've seen them, you've seen them and I'm quite intrigued. I have a few, I don't have like too many um, but let's just get right into it. So I'm going to start off by doing my eyebrows. I didn't find a hack that I was really interested in for the brows, so I'm going to go ahead and do them, and then when I come back, we're going to go ahead and jump into the first hack. Okay, so I've basically filled in my brows, and we're going to go ahead and go into the first hack. If you hack. wear makeup, watch. Alright. If you wear makeup, watch. Check. Change your whole routine and try this instead. Let's try. Moisturize first. Then okay. after moisturizing, take some translucent powder. I usually use the Fit Me. Okay, so moisturizing first will be with our First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. And then translucent powder, I'll take my Derma Blend. And I just lightly dab it all over my face. Not too much. Then take some setting spray. It could be any setting spray. I usually use the NYX one. After the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. Also, wait for the setting spray to dry first. Then, just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how amazing your fucking makeup is going to look. And it's going to stay on 24-7 and it's not going to crease. It's a technique that's probably still used by so many other people. I heard that it's been used for like a long time, but I just found out about it. And honestly, look, I don't have the beauty filter on. So it's funny because I would always do like moisturizing, then primer, then powder. I never did like moisturizing powder, setting spray, then primer. I never tried that. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to take my first A Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and I'm going to use that to moisturize. Take a little bit on the tip and then go in. One. Okay, so then I'm going to take my Derma Blend powder. I use the um, shade Cool Beige. And I'm going to go ahead and tap that everywhere with a fluffy brush. So I'm just going to use this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JHO2. And I'm going to take it and kind of just go like that. I look, you feel like this technique is so backwards. But we'll see. Okay, so all the powder is on the skin. So next, we're going to spray with some setting spray. I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter. I swear by her. So we're going to go ahead and just... And let it dry. And this is what scares me. We're going to go into primer next. So I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I, I just feel like everything's going to lift underneath. Like, I don't know. But we're going to rub it in and go. I'm going to like tap it into the skin because I feel like rubbing it in won't be the best thing with this technique. I don't know. It actually feels really tacky, which is really good for like long foundation wear. But we shall see. So before I put on foundation, I do have another hack that I want to try out, which is basically blush. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. So we're going to watch that video and then do the blush portion. So we're applying like their blush. Oh, and she's highlighting and contouring beforehand and then apply foundation. But I think that what I'm going to no, no, I'm gonna do what she did. No, this is that video. I'm gonna do what she did. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and take this um, ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in shade All Tea. It's like a pinkier shade, but we're gonna apply it like so. Like so. Where did she apply it? Let's see. Again, like that. She applied it on the forehead, but. I don't have too much forehead space right now, so we're going to leave that out. We're going to go like this. Well, actually, no, 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 we're not. Okay, I look crazy. I look, like, I look like that clown from Saw. Anyways, so I'm going to blend this out because that's what she did first. So, so I'm going to use this Morphe brush. I really, 
this is Morphe. Yeah, I really like this brush. It came out with their um, new foundation, and I like it. Anyways, blending out. I didn't find like a pure red, but I figured pink was better for me anyways. I like more of a pinkier rather than a red blush, but I don't know. I don't know is that this lipstick smells good as hell. Oh my god, I look crazy. And she basically kind of did like a reverse routine. So like she did the blush, she added the contour, and then a little bit of concealer. And then she added her foundation, which I'm like, isn't that going to cover it all? But... I guess we'll find out today. So I'm going to go into my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer and I'm going to just watch the video again to be sure. Yeah, she legit. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to go into it and add it where I like to contour. So like here, here, here. Like I said, I want to be careful with the forehead because I'm going to take this e.l.f. Um, 106 brush and use that to blend out the contour. Oh my god, I look a mess. How is this going to look good? <sighs> I feel like I look like I don't know how to do my makeup. Hold on, because I'm... Okay. Okay, and so after the contour part, you go into your concealer and apply it under the eyes, on the bridge of the nose, kind of where you would contour, you feel me? Like so. Lord knows I need this help right now, so. Okay. Oh my god, this is terrible. I'm going to take my beauty sponge and I'm blindly going to blend this out. I'm actually very nervous. Blending out my concealer, which by the way, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Extra Shot in shade Light 140, which I really, really like. It's a really good formula. seen this technique like a few years ago like back in 2016 I feel like it was something like bigger um but your girl never did it because your girl was a little scared but here we are doing it okay so that's how my skin is looking see now it looks a little better with the concealer um And everything is applying nicely, actually, on top of that base that we did. But now it's time for the real deal. So we're going to go into the foundation. I'm going to go into my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 in shade 06 Sand Beige. And I think she'll use a little bit. So I, I guess I'm going to use a little bit. I don't know. Um, it seems like she only put it in certain areas. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just lightly apply it. Basically, I guess into the areas that I didn't add product, I don't know. Okay, so we've done two hacks so far. Let's go on to the third one. I'm gonna use the Norvina Volume 2 palette. I love it, it's so gorgeous. And it has a black. So I'm gonna take the black shade, which is E5, and I'm gonna pack that on using a JH40 brush. So I'm just gonna pack that onto the lid. All over the lid. This is actually a really helpful hack because people think smoky eyes are so hard, which they can be, but if this hack works, then it's not as hard as we think it is, right? Or this is just an easier way to achieve it. 
Okay, so I have packed the black on. And then I'm going to go into like a cleaner, fluffy brush. I'm going to use the JH30 from Morphe X Jaclyn Hill. And I'm going to take E4, which is right next to the black. It's a nice brown. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to use it to kind of blend it over. Wait, this actually really worked, and it's really freaking pretty. Like, look, it went from this to this. That's gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. That was so easy, and that's so gorgeous. I'm actually really, really happy with that hat. I don't think I want to add any glitter to it because I really like how it is on its own. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just basically set my face like normal. My skin? Oh my god, wait, hold on. My skin looks amazing. I think that first like um, prepping hack to makeup really worked because my skin looks freaking flawless. There's like not even like creasing like on where i normally do on my nose like there's nothing what the heck come on what kind of sorcery they got going on on tiktok because uh-uh i'm gonna go ahead and do my lips normally i just see a lot of overlining hacks on tiktok so i'm just gonna overline them a bit and that's gonna be that Lastly, there was just a cute little makeup pack for like adding faux freckles or faux like beauty marks. So we're gonna watch that. Cute. Okay, she kind of just added them everywhere. So that's what I'm gonna do. And where else did she add them? Let's see. She added them. Right over here, but I already have. So we're gonna go right here. She added one up here. She added one like here, and she added one like here, something like that. Wait, I'm loving this makeup. Hold on. TikTok low key got me right. I'm gonna set my face like for the last time. Okay, so. This is the final makeup look, full face of TikTok hacks. And I have to say, this is the best my makeup has looked in a long time. I have to say, I absolutely love this makeup look. I love everything down to the faux beauty marks that we added. Like, I'm loving this. TikTok low-key has some really good hacks, and I want to try more of them. There were so many foundation hacks that I wanted to try, but I tried this one first because... It was just the one I was most interested in, but there's so many more that I want to try. So I think that I'm going to go ahead and do that. I really like how this makeup look turned out. That smoky eye was like so easy to do too. My makeup really does look flawless, like the base. And it's it looks more flawless than what I do on a regular basis. So I guess I have to start doing my routine that way because Miss Mama's did not lie when she said that your makeup is going to look flawless because look at me, sweetie. This is gorgeous. I really, really like it. I even like it down to even like using blush. I mean, using lipstick as blush prior to applying foundation. It was a good hack. Like, I can't hate on it. Nothing. Like, I really like it. Let me know what you guys think down below. And let me know what you guys have tried. And also, um, let me know if there's any hacks that you want me to try in a future video. Because I'm going to do these. Because, like, I'm impressed. And I really wouldn't have, like, thought of them especially oh my god i just love the detail that we added with like the the faux freckles basically oh my god this is so pretty i love it i love it but i really do love this i love the hacks that we used i really really love um the hack for like the foundation i'm gonna be using it this weekend because it is my birthday weekend and i am going out so i think i'm really going to use it i also really love this eye look everything was so gorgeous and the tips were like really good and i'm really happy i'm ha i can't wait to see how well like this makeup actually holds up throughout the day like wearing a mask so i'll let you guys know that in the comments because i think that was the whole big thing that it's not gonna crease or move so 
for the foundation so i'll let y'all know um i love the full freckles the full beauty marks that we added they're so pretty and i just love everything about this look so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more and i will see you guys in the next one bye